Hi friends. Oh my goodness. We're almost to Thanksgiving break. You guys have done a fabulous job with distance learning so far. So last month we did a project and you had math games to create for Mrs. Ari and Mrs. Clevenger and you guys did a really great job. I was so impressed with some of the creativity and the way you guys set your games up. I loved the board games. I loved that some of the games were interactive and I loved that some of the games were going outside and doing stuff. That was awesome. We have a new project. So in social studies, my boys and men girls have been learning about the history of things and people. Okay, we learned about famous explorers in history. We learned about the past and the present. And we learned about primary sources and secondary sources of information. And so Mrs. Ari and I decided that Thanksgiving is a perfect time. It's when we see a lot of our family. And if you get together with family this Thanksgiving, or if you do phone calls with family this Thanksgiving, you're talking to people you probably haven't seen or heard from in a while. You have a project that's gonna be based on what we have now in our lives as a second grader versus what somebody had a long time ago in their lives as a second grader, okay? This is called the Then and Now Project. So here's how this works. You are going to find where it says your name and you're gonna find someone to talk to. And this is a three-parter. So the first part is interview an adult at home. It can be a parent. It can be a grandparent. It could be an aunt or an uncle. It could be an adult sibling if you've got a brother or a sister who is way older, they're an adult, maybe they live in their own house with their own family. Or if you've got a family friend, okay? Sometimes you've got a neighbor that's kind of like a grandpa or a grandma to you, right? So you can interview someone who's older. This is not your middle school sister. This is not your high school brother. They have to be an adult because they have to think about a long time ago, okay? You're gonna ask them some questions and you're gonna write their answers in complete sentences. That means you have to not just put one word or two words, a complete sentence. It has to have a capital letter to start and there needs to be a period at the end, okay? If you don't want to use the lines um, in an effort not to have this be a very long project with lots of paper, the lines are there and they're kind of tiny. You can write your answers to the questions on notebook paper, okay? You would just need to write number one and then ask them the question and then write their answer on notebook paper. You can do that. This is also editable. So you can go on your computer and all of these have boxes and you can type your answers in too. So if you can't print, you can type. Um, Mrs. Ari and I would really like us to practice our handwriting and really work on getting those muscles in our hands, some exercise. And the best way to do that is to take a pencil and write. But if you can't print, that's okay. You can type your answers in. So part one is questions for my adult. So you're going to ask them, where were you born and what year? Did you have a pet when you were growing up? What was its name? Did you get an allowance? How much? What did you spend your allowance on? What were your favorite games and activities? What chores were assigned to you? What holidays did you celebrate? What technology did you year, use? What did your house look like? Is it still the same? Did your house have electricity when you were young? What traditions did your family have? What were your favorite subjects in school? When you were a child, what sports did you play? 
if they played any at all. What were your favorite television shows? What was your first job? When did you get your first job? What is the biggest difference between then and now? And what advice would you like to give me? This is your adult telling you some advice. The end of part one, scroll down to continue part two. So if you're on the computer, you're gonna scroll down. Part two of this project is now the adult asking you the questions, okay? So the adult you just ask questions to, they're gonna ask you. Some of the questions are the same questions. Some of them are a little bit different. Where were you born and what year? Do you have a pet? If you do, what is its name? Do you get an allowance? How much? What do you spend your allowance on? What are your favorite games and activities? What chores are assigned to you? What holidays do you celebrate? What technology do you use? What does your house look like? What traditions do you have with your family? What are your favorite subjects in school? What sports do you play? What are your favorite television shows? What kind of job do you want when you grow up? What is something you think you will always remember? Okay, this is about being a kid right now. That's the end of part two, okay? So part one, I chose an adult and I asked them questions and I wrote down their answers. Part two is that adult then turned around and asked me questions. Part three is we're going to compare and contrast, okay? When I compare and contrast something, I see what is the same and I see what is different. So your assignment for part three is using complete sentences, write at least one paragraph, at least. Can it be more than one? Yes. Could I write two paragraphs? Yes. Could I write three? Yes. Could I write one sentence? No. One paragraph at least. Comparing what is the same and contrasting what is different from your adult's life as a child to your life. So how was your grandma a second grader? What kinds of things did she answer? How was your grandpa when he was a second grader? Or your mom or your dad, okay? So what are things in your adult's life that you found out were the same as your life right now and what was different, okay? You have a whole lined paper here. So you can start writing on this paper and finish on this one. Again, if you can't quite make your words fit on the lines we have, you can always write it on notebook paper and send it. You can always type it right into your Chromebook or onto your computer and submit it that way. This project is due when we come back from Thanksgiving break. That's gonna be on Monday, November 30th, okay? We're giving you all of this week and all of Thanksgiving break to get to talk to someone. Again, they have to be an adult. They have to be much, much, much older. Your sixth grade sister or fourth grade brother, they're not old enough, okay? We're gonna see what life was like when your grown up was little and your age versus what your life is like now. Did they have the same things? Probably not, okay? I hope you have fun with this project. I hope you get to learn about your grown-up a lot more than maybe you knew before. I hope they get to learn some stuff from you. And I hope you get to see how life a long time ago is the same and also different than your life now. Have fun with this project. If you have any questions about it, let your teacher know. Bye, friends.